things are about to get a lot more active in Europe, and that means many of us will be impacted by heavy rain, strong winds, and cooler air, a reminder that summer is gradually coming to an end for the year 2025. The month of September has already gotten off to an unsettled start, especially across northwestern Europe with bouts of intense rain, strong winds, and even severe weather events. Now look at this area of low pressure coming in later this week. You'll notice how it's approaching much further south compared to recent disturbances. This means that impacts will be felt in some new places. First off, the Asotish Archipelago will be impacted by widespread heavy rain and some storm activity from Friday into Saturday. And then not long after, all of this disturbed weather is going to reach mainland Portugal and then spread across Spain, Ireland, the UK, and eventually other countries to the east as we go through the day on Sunday. It's also interesting to note that as all of this rainfall pushes into Europe, the center of low pressure will likely intensify rapidly close to Ireland, and then even after this system does weaken, things remain very unsettled from North Africa all the way up to Scandinavia, and of course with the next couple of disturbances arriving between Tuesday and Wednesday, the rain and wind threat is enhanced once again from Ireland and the UK into mainland Europe, and then this is followed by more disturbances, so you can see how we're very locked into this very unstable pattern for quite some time. Now that we know what kind of weather pattern to expect for the foreseeable future, let's break down the impacts that can be expected. First off, rain is going to add up in many places. This is something I mentioned in the last video, but here's the latest forecast for the next seven days according to the European model. Ireland, the UK, Scandinavia, and Iceland stand out with the most widespread heavy rainfall, but it's also worth noting this other corridor from France and Switzerland up into Norway. This is a bit more uncertain since it will depend on one specific scenario, but regardless, it's still likely that this whole general area will see repeated rounds of rain and even strong to severe storms during the forecast period. Other than the rain and storm threat that these large areas of low pressure will bring in, it's also important to take note of the wind factor, especially with these deeper areas of low pressure. You probably remember how I mentioned that the low arriving between this weekend and the start of next week would rapidly intensify just before reaching Ireland and the UK. Take a look at this wind gust forecast. It's nothing extreme or unheard of for this part of the world, but it's definitely going to be noticeably windier from Sunday night into Monday, especially in Ireland, with gusts reaching 70, 80, even 90 kilometers kilometers per hour inland, even getting as high as 100 kilometers per hour along exposed coastal areas. After that, the next low to watch for some stronger wind gusts arrives around the middle of next week, so I'll be keeping an eye on trends with this one. For those of you in Eastern Europe, the next several days won't be as eventful, but there's still a few things to watch for. Today we should see scattered storm activity in a corridor from Albania and Greece up to Estonia. Then all of this rain and storm activity heavily affecting France and the Alps today is going to move across Central Europe and Southern Scandinavia tomorrow and Saturday. And then by Sunday, whatever's left of this activity could persist around Poland, with high pressure remaining firmly grounded over Russia. We also see some rain and storm activity over the Black Sea, but really other than that, Widespread disruptive weather doesn't appear likely for now, but this may change by the second half of next week when a zonal flow regime could emerge, allowing Atlantic lows to cut across the European continent, which in turn brings impacts to more areas. Anyways, that will be a subject for a future update. If you'd like to stay updated on the latest weather forecast, make sure you are subscribed, and also make sure to follow me on X and Instagram for extra weather information.